is up you guys captain jack here thanks for joining me on another adventure i don't know if you could tell but i am in the heart of key west and we are going on probably one of the most epic adventures i've ever been on we're gonna go four days on a catamaran sailboat 40 foot from key west to the tortugas and we are going to do some spear fishing the entire way so i'm bringing all our stuff down to the boat i'm going to show you what we're rocking with and let you meet the crew all the good stuff if you guys are new here go ahead and hit that subscribe button also do me a favor like this video and stay tuned i'm probably going to do a two-parter or maybe even three-parter out of this whole adventure we'll just see how it goes but pumped I can bring you guys with me so I will see you guys on the sailboat all right we're coming up on the boat this is it and right now we're on the tender so this is what we're gonna be rocking on next four days all right so we're on the boat check it out all right here we go Hello. Aaron's gonna give us a little walkthrough I'm gonna show you you are bunk first you are right here all right if you lift this, there's a storage cubby under here. You can stash more stuff in, but you got closet, closet, closet. You are the keeper of my vacuum. So that's Sweet. awesome. In All there. right. So you got one head over here. All right. And then you got crew quarters up there. All right. That's where Maddie hails. Nice. And all back stock. How's it snoring? I don't I sleep on the tramp. And this is the other side. So Joe is in here. All and right. then um, Virgil and David are gonna be in that one. Oh, sweet. It's like a double. And another head. All right. All right. Man. Although we all prefer aqua, aqua booming around here. Yep, I'm into that. Cool. Heck yeah. And then, uh, what else can I show you? Come along. So a lot of the gear, they're stashing up here. All right. Woo. This is so nice. You sleep on the tram? I do. This is my bed. That's awesome. Yeah. Sweet. And it was so old, some of them would like pop off, and especially in weather. Nice. So, yeah. Awesome. Yep. This is it. Whew, this is sick. Heck yeah. This is awesome. Sweet. Heck yeah. I'm freaking pumped. Good. Okay, so whole crew is here. So I'm gonna introduce you to the whole crew. We got Aaron taking care of us. <laughs> we got is that Virgil right here. What up? <laughs> and uh, is that Matt or Joe? That's Joe. Hey. Hey, Joe over there. All right, all right, all right. Hey, nice oh, to meet you. Nice to meet you. We got the captain, El Capitan, Matt, <laughs> Maddie. We got Dave. Everybody knows David. Hi. I don't mind a little. If you want, you can see him in my Ecuador videos. I'll drop that link up top. Yeah, that's a good. And then we got Matt. I mean, that that so yeah, part, got a nice crew. Longer. A lot of crew on this boat, but dude, this thing is freaking massive. So I'm freaking pumped. I'm probably gonna sleep in my hammock up on the deck. There's one set up here. I might go up front, but everybody's here. We got the tinder back in the back. That's what we'll be playing the fish off of. Got some coolers ready to ice down all of our catch. So yeah, I am freaking damn. Um, yeah, so got the tramp out here, got our dive gear down here. Freaking ready to do this. We're in the anchorage right now, but we are going to head off that way. Raising the sails. This is freaking epicness. I am so happy I get to bring you guys with me on this incredible adventure. So I will see you guys when we are on our way to the Tortugas and we will end up getting there at nighttime and waking up tomorrow ready to crush it. Spearfishing. God, it's so pumped. Good morning, everybody. Just woke up, it's about 8.20. Should be getting close, but look what I woke up to. So 
so sick. I'll see you guys out there on the deck once we get to the spot. We are there. <laughs> Getting ready. Alright, I'm gonna go to the back to see the water like, All right. What else do we need out? About to gear up. Matt's peeking off the back. Weapons. He's got his shotguns in his, uh, <laughs> his camo bag. So we're gearing up, and this camera is going into my mask. And I'll see you guys whenever we get in the water. So some of you may be wondering if spearfishing is legal in the Tortugas. The Tortugas is a giant area and there is a sanctuary that you're not allowed to spearfish in and we are way, way outside of that area. This first spot we started to dive in was in about 60 feet of water and the visibility was pretty terrible. The conditions were actually perfect for us to do this little spearfishing technique that I did a couple of episodes ago and I'll leave a link for that up in the corner of the screen. As you can see, I make a drop to the bottom I look around for quite some time. Towards the end of the video, I end up seeing a grouper, and you guys will have to wait and see what happens. I wasn't too sure on the shot because I shot him on his way out of there. So I decided to not put a whole lot of pressure on the fish. a huge uh, coral head right over here. Just go to that, uh, go down here and head this way. Dude, huge coral head. I just got this guy. Now I had the task of bringing this fish all the way up the float line and I had to pull myself and I ran into a school of pesky sharks and they just would not leave me alone. So I usually don't let the sharks bother me, but it's not really the big, big ones that scare me. It's these little tiny ones that are super darty and they're super bold and have no problem with coming up and seeing what you are or possibly taking a little bite. Can you help me with the shark? First one, first grouper. Yeah, the uh, little method is working. If you want a uh, 
If you want to see our that tactic, that little hack, go ahead. I'll leave the link it up here. But yeah, did well. Those sharks were freaking relentless, but we were able to get it, and yeah, that's all she wrote. Good fish. On my next drop, I went down to the bottom, ran into a school of a ton of amber jacks, and I opted out of shooting them. I easily could have, but I opted out because I would rather save the cooler space for a much more tasty fish. As you can see, I was having a little fun and doing some grunting and seeing how shallow they would end up following me up to the surface, following that grunting sound I make. Look at all these AJs under me. Came up from my next dive and I saw that Virgil shot this nice hogfish and they are such good eating fish. Oh, oh yeah. Hell yeah. There's another one right down below. Really? Alright, yeah. I'll, I'll drop. Alright, we're done diving for the day. Making our way back in. We're just chilling. Just chilling. Virgil's past. He's getting me all fired up for tomorrow. Tomorrow we're gonna get, we're gonna get him. We're gonna get into him and we're gonna get him. On our way to Tortugas, look at what we got going on. That yellow jack. Some ceviche coming in hot and that's not even, not even all of it. We're gonna end up belaying some fish and uh, cooking them up once we get back to, uh, once we get an anchor, so. I'll see you guys then. We're making our way in and I'm chilling up here on the bow. I'll go ahead and show you guys this whole view of what we're looking at. As we all our dive gears up there, just chilling up on the tramp. We're up by this deserted island lighthouse thing. Making our way over to that island. We're gonna chill there for uh, for dinner. Fish and uh, Finishing up the ceviche right now. Aaron's hooking up the ceviche. And yeah, I'll tune in whenever we uh, whenever we get to port. So some of you may wonder where I am. I am under the boat. Chilling in the hammock. Check out this view. <laughs> Look at that. In 40 feet of water right now. Super dope. This is where I'm gonna be chilling. I actually might sleep down here. I'm pretty stoked about it. Look at that. Righteous. <laughs> Dang. He's not supposed to the water. It's about as fresh as it gets. Tortugas trip. This spot we're going to next is going to be the mother load. It's a giant structure out in the middle of nowhere and hopefully we hit the jackpot. So I'll, I'll see you guys out there. Wish me luck. We're out here on the deck. Me and your boy chilling here, Virgil. Yeah, man. Enjoying. This is what it's all about. Yeah, we're pretty amped to get out there. The biz looks pretty good, better than yesterday. So fingers crossed. Hopefully we strike gold. Look at that. Porpoises! Oh. Yes! Oh. He's riding the uh, riding the surge from the boat. Oh, that's awesome! Yeah. Yeah, friend. Yeah. <laughs> Good stuff. Good omen. We got the dolphins on our side. Hell yeah! Motor sailing to the spot. That's oh, sick. Enjoying a little bit of breakfast. Aaron made up. Sailing. On our way to the spot. All right, we're anchored up at the spot. Got good vids. I'm freaking pumped. 
Hunter's apartment's in the water, so I'll see you guys in the water. So this place is so cool where we're diving. It is over 50 miles from any type of landmass, and it's a gigantic tower out in the middle of nowhere in over 150 feet. As I began to approach the tower, I saw Matt lining up on this stud permit. And he straight up stoned him. Hold him up. Hold him up. Woo! Silver side pickup. <laughs> A few moments later, my opportunity to land one of those beautiful fish presented itself. At this point, we were having a good old fashioned tug of war match. I knew I made a good enough holding shot, so I knew I could put some pressure on the fish. God, what happened here? All right, so we're getting into them. I'll show you what we got, what we're working with. Maddie just stoned his, you guys saw that. Uh, I got mine, I'm freaking pumped. I'm gonna show you what's in the cooler though. All right, this is an entire permit. And I, I got the smaller one, Maddie's is bigger. <laughs> I saw some cobia, so I'm gonna get back in the water and kind of see what else we see. I'll see you guys back in the water.